Hi, welcome to another video. Let me show you how to use classes in Excel Office scripts. Let's first look at the demo. Here I am creating shapes by entering their name. Note here, I am also entering the owner. Classes are used to create reusable, modular, and organized code. They allow you the developer, to define blueprints for objects, encapsulating data and behavior in a single entity. This makes it easier to manage and maintain code, especially in larger applications. Generally, there is no need to use classes in Excel. Treat this demo as a lesson in class creation and usage. Let's look at the code. Here is the class called Custom Shape. A new property called Owner is being declared. We create the getter and the setter for that property. Get owner and set owner. Set position and set size are two new methods. This class is using a feature called inheritance. That is, I am using an existing object called shape and using some of its attributes. That is, some of its properties and some of its methods, but not all. In the main function, there are four input parameters. The workbook itself, the set text for the text that displays in the shape, set shape, the shape type, and owner name values. The user inputs these last three values using the default input form. There is, next, a try-catch error handler. If a shape is wrongly named by the user, the code responds with an error in the console and sets cell A1 with that same error message. Later, we have a get shape type function. This function acts a helper lookup function looking up the user input shape type and returning an E number, which is a predefined Excel constant. This can't be built using strings, so this helper function was required. Note how many different shape types Microsoft has provided to users. In this second part of the video, I have provided a more advanced version of the code where I have created a third new method for the class. Note the user is inputting a new parameter called align shapes true or false. That method aligns the newly created shape next to the rightmost existing shape. It aligns its top with that shape also. The use of async and wait in the code is due to the need to wait until the shape has been created on the worksheet before using it later in the code. The code for both scripts can be found on the GitHub repo as listed in this video's description. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and remember I love you all.
That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And remember, I love you all.